We're just keeping tabs of what's happening around the country in terms of uh, the mass talk about uh, demonstrations by opposition. Uh, and now we want still to go back to the Nairobi CBD just to check around how business has been affected by the demonstrations. Remember, the CBD is the heartbeat of our economy. And of course, when uh, you have challenges there, you expect the economy to have some uh, bearings. And so let's listen in to uh, what Hibak has to tell us. Uh, Hibak, uh, give us an update on uh, how this business uh, environment is in Nairobi CBD. Business district, the heart of business in the capital. And we've been seeing how things have been going on since 9 a.m. this morning and how businesses have been affected by the ongoing riots. Just a few moments ago, there were people who were running behind me, but now, of course, they have been dispersed. The security are taking very, very keen interest in ensuring that the business district is kept safe. The businesses have been closed since 9 a.m. We have been able to speak to some business people and they have told us that they open normally as they open always do in the morning at 8 a.m. But by 10 a.m. there wasn't, uh, there were riots, there were protests, and they had to close down. That's when the security came in, and we've been walking around Nairobi Central Business District, trying to see where exactly there are riots, where there aren't riots, where the businesses are going on normally, and where they aren't going normally. With me, I have one of the people who are in the Matatu Business Metro. If I am not wrong, if you can just start by introducing yourself, and if you can just tell us, how has business been today? How have you seen things happening? Well, first of all, my name is David Maina. I work with the Super Metro company. The business in the morning was good, but from 10 a.m., the business, uh, business went so bad after the rioting started. You can see all the shops were closed, all the passengers were, went home. Now we are still struggling here without passengers here at our stage. You can see how it is now in CBD. We are losing business. We are losing a lot. Like today, when you can see, we actually operate more than 300 vehicles. But you can see now, there is no vehicles are going to park in, drivers are going to park in. We have no passengers. Today we are going to have a ross, a big ross, a big ross. Uh, we were here with you since around 1 p.m. and we were seeing you trying to coordinate routes on where it's safe for Matatus to pass, where it's not safe for Matatus to pass. How are you finding the navigation of the city at this moment? Well, we are using our inspectors. We, are ju we have just posted them through all our routes. They are the ones we are talking with them, with, the, with them to know how we are going to navigate our vehicles. When you see there is a route in Vika Road, we go to Ngong Road. If it is Ngong Road, we go to Kangundo Road. We are just doing that for us to save the revenue which we get on a daily basis. And how about security? How have the police been handling the situation as people who have been here and who have been seeing how the ongoing protests have affected the central business district? The security, the security is good, it's helping us. Or well, the problem is the double the tear gas because they don't differentiate people who are working and they who are rioting. The, the tear gas is which is affecting us a lot, a lot. We must carry water throughout because without water you can't survive here. And maybe uh, as we conclude, if you could just tell us now, it's the end of business day, it's almost 5 p.m. A lot of businesses no longer have any way to recover or to gain back the money that they have already lost. What would you say about that? For now, we can say we have lost. The day is gone. We have lost. We can say now we have lost the game. Thank you so much. And that is what the business people are saying. Of course, we're still parked here and we're still seeing what is going on at the Central Business District. Just at the junction at Tom Boyer and Haley Selassie, we've seen a lot of destruction and that's where mostly the riots were happening. But if you move towards this other side and through uptown all the way to... Uh, um, to Kenkom, you can find that there's a little bit of peace. Some businesses have been opening and closing, and they're just trying to see how things are going. And as things move on, we must give it back to you in studio. Back to you in studio.